Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday. Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. However, this isn't going to be our normal Five Thrift Store Friday because I actually filmed this video on Sunday, Christmas Eve. Yes, your boy was out in the elements on Christmas Eve because it was pouring down rain and I was out still looking for those deals, still hunting for figures at Ross. I even stopped in at a place called Dirt Cheap and man, they had some dirt cheap toys that day. And I, I happened to be there when they were offering offering uh, the toys at 80% off. And then I was there at a time where they were offering an extra 20% off the on top of the 80% off. Like I, and I got something cool. Like I got something real cool. So I'm excited for that. I also stopped in at Jaden's Toys. He was having a 30% 30, uh, 30 off sale at his mall location, which he has since closed that location. And he's just focusing on the vintage toy store right now. So anyway, I got a fun and exciting episode for you guys today. And I can't wait to show you what I got. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Man, this place is wiped out. Holy cow. Let's see. Any Dracula. Where are you, Dracky? I need you in my life. What's over here? Nothing. There's a Rakondo, though. Holy cow. <laughs> this was all stacked with toys. It's empty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there ain't nothing here. Let's look under here. Maybe see if anybody hears anything. No. Zaymot here. Haven't seen that one, The Seven Deadly Sins. Here's another character from that line. What are they asking for those? I'm just curious. Oh, five bucks. Well, as you can see, Ross was wiped out. It was like Fallout 3 in there. There was like nothing on the shelf. So we got busted, you know, still looking for that Dracula and that Wolfman, which one of my subscribers said, hey, don't even waste your time on those. That Dracula was a limited run and there's not many of them out there anyway. But, you know, I, I, but I told him, look, man, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So I still got to keep hunting, you know, it's in my blood. So anyway, we got busted at Ross, but let's go hit up another Ross. Maybe we'll get lucky over there. All right, let's see. Well, at least this store has a little more stuff than the last one. But it's still pretty picked over. I mean, these shelves were pretty stocked up here just a week ago. Let's see. Dungeons and Dragons. We've got some Zaymont and Tomax together. Where are the Universal Monsters? Sorry. Here's a Toonie Terror of Michael Myers. Some Power Rangers. One of our Goody Wheel gang members, Aaron Wolf, I think picked this up recently. Busted again. But hey, at least they had more toys on their shelves than the previous Ross. At least we had a chance at maybe finding something. But hey, we got busted. And that's what happens sometimes, you know, and you can't, you can't win. You can't win all the time, but you gotta keep trying. All right, guys, let's switch gears a little bit because right next to this Ross is a place called Dirt Cheap, which I haven't been to in a really long time. And they're having an 80% off sale on their toys. And it just so happens that between 8 and 8, 8 a.m. and 12 noon, they're offering an additional 20% off on top of the 80%. So let's go see what kind of goodies they got. Through rain and hell, sleet and snow, your boy Burf is always on the go. 
All I gotta do is block out the noise and keep my focus on hunting toys. Let's see what they got over here at Dirt Cheap. All right, let's see, what do they got? What's this over here? Brother Love, oh yeah, I remember Brother Love. Let's see, there's a bunch of toys over here too. Is that a Batman? That's a figure from The Flash, Lightyear, King Grayskull. Oh yeah, sure is, I got him already. I have a whole bunch of King Grey Skulls, actually. Oh, look at this. I remember when this was at Target. And what do we got down here? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. ton of that stuff. Check it out. All toys are 80% off. So it's 80% off of that price. Hmm. You know, at Ross, they're asking like $12.99 for this or something like that. What's this thing here? Meltdown. Well, it's like a game, I guess. Oh, that must be the sorceress, huh? These shelves are really cleaned out as well. Cobra Commander. I thought he would make a cool display piece, you know? He's got very limited articulation, but I thought it'd be cool to display. Lots of King Grayskull. Look at that, we got one, two, three, like four shells, plus we had all that stuff over there. All right, I think there's more stuff on the bell. Actually, there's more stuff down these aisles here. Let's see. I'm thinking about getting this because I think I can get it for like four or five bucks. Um, I've never seen an episode of this He-Man series, this animated series, and didn't really have any intentions of buying any of the figures. But if I can get it for four or five bucks, I just might pull the trigger on it. I'll decide by the end of, uh, you know, when I'm finished looking around here, I'll make a decision. Mustafa. Brother Love and Mustafa, Samu. There's Holly. Oh, what's this guy here? RC Robo Warrior. That's kind of neat looking. I guess he's remote control with smoke vapor effect. Oh, that's cool. Ray Mysterio. I like his jacket. Hey, it's Ronda Rousey, the has been. Stacy Keebler, Brother Love. Check this out. These two like statue figurines, really cool. There's nothing in it. It's a uh, boxes are empty which i'm assuming somebody stole those well dirt cheap actually had some decent stuff on the shelves and for as cheap as it was i couldn't resist i wasn't planning on purchasing any of those uh or collecting any of those he-man animated series figures but they were so cheap like i know at ross that two pack with skeletor and he-man is 16.99 at ross and i got it for like four bucks like i ended up everything that i got which i'm going to show you here in a second uh everything i got i got for less than 12 dollars out the door like it was awesome let's do a little show and tell check this thing out man this thing is awesome so I ended up getting the He-Man and Skeletor 2-pack. I got the Snake Chaos Attack playset, and I got the Sorceress with Zoar. But man, check this out. I'm telling you, like, I wasn't planning on buying any of these figures, but when I, since I got them and have picked them up and held them in my hand, they're actually really well made. Like, and I like the look of them. So I think I might be converted. I think, uh, I think this line may have just converted me to collecting 
more of it because I know there's like a man at arms and there's some other a beast man and stuff like that. But check out this playset. Got these skulls down here. We got this ooze that's like coming out from Skeletor's throne. I haven't watched this animated series. I'm gonna have to maybe check it out. And I don't know if he actually glows in the dark. He kind of looks like he, he does. I mean, look at his his hand there, his arm. You know, kind of has that glow in the dark look to it. So he might actually glow in the dark. But, uh, and then here's He-Man. And then we got Zoar and the sorceress over here. Let's see, can I flip her helmet? Oh yeah, check her out. Look at her eyes, they're mesmerizing. So while He-Man is distracting Skeletor, the sorceress is sneaking in from the back and she's gonna lay, she's gonna lay the smack down on old Skelly over here. But check this thing out here too. This thing actually, it moves back and forth. It's got this little button back here, but I don't know exactly what this does. I'm gonna have to maybe look this up on YouTube and kind of see, you know, like somebody doing a review of it. Or maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. Andy Simpson, I think you've got this play set. What does that little button do? I'm curious, but I actually, I love this playset. I think it's really cool. And this is like a little sticker that I had to put in here. So it's got like the, you know, like the slime pit. It's just a really, really cool playset, And I'm really digging the figures too. I can't believe how much cheaper that was at dirt cheap than it was at Ross. I mean, Ross has had some really amazing deals this holiday season, but, uh, there's no way I would have paid $16.99 for that. You know, to get those three figures and Zoar and uh, uh, the, the play set for like less than 12 bucks. I mean, you can't beat it. You can, you can't go wrong. So anyway, happy camper over here. All right, guys, let's go hit up a goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. You know, we can't be shopping Christmas Eve without hitting up the goodie wheel, baby. Oh yeah. What you got for me today, goodie wheel? What you got for me today? What do you got for me on this Christmas Eve? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's check it out. Got some Transformers, Captain America. This guy's still here from the other day. Look at this thing. Dang. Doesn't look like the Goody Will has got much for us today. Unless there's something that pops out here in Plushland. Plushville. I ain't seeing nothing there either. Busted at the Goody Will. But that's okay because there is a thrift giant just around the corner. And I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to score some vintage toys over there. I'll check it out. Another Fisher Price Adventure People van. I already picked up one of these last week, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this one too. And what do we got here? Is this like, is this Roblox? Maybe? Looks like it could be. Of course, it looks so similar to this design here, but I'm pretty sure this is not old. I don't see anything that says Fisher Price on it. And the best part is it's only a buck ninety nine. I think that's what the other one was too that I paid for. All right, let's see what do we got here. What's this guy? The Peabody Memphis. All right, these shelves are looking kind of weak. Looks like we got a lot of a lot of kids' cars or kids' toys and stuff like that. Oh, look at this Tonka. Hmm. I saw this thing selling for like 20 bucks. It's kind of cool. I wonder if I should get them both or just get this. All right, I'm just gonna leave this here for somebody else and I'm gonna get this one. 
this thing's cool, but yeah. Maybe if it were a buck ninety nine, but at five dollars, I think I'll just leave it behind. Of course, it does say made in the USA on it, and you don't see that too often anymore. Oh man, what am I gonna do? See, I told you, I told you we were gonna score some vintage toys. What's crazy is that that is the second Adventure People stunt van that I have found this week. That's the second one. The first one I found was at Texas Thrift. I also found a couple of Jeeps uh, at that location. And then this one at Thrift Giant. Now this one's in a little better shape than the one I found earlier in the week. The stickers are in better condition. So um, I'll probably end up keeping this one and maybe trading the other one or selling it. I don't know yet. Or I may keep both. I don't know. You know, sometimes I'm very indecisive. Anyway, let's do a little show and tell. Check it out. My vans are twinning. So this is the one I just picked up today. You can see the sticker is intact where on this one, you know, I've got some sticker peeling over there. And then this right here, you know, there's a little bit of peel going on right there, but that that's easily fixable. You could just put a little dab of glue right there or something like that. Um, these figures here, when I did my previous show and tell um, with this van and the Jeeps and stuff, uh, I forgot that these guys were actually in one of the baggies uh, and I did not include them in the show and tell. So it's kind of kind of cool that I actually found another van because now I get to include these Fisher Price Adventure people in this show and tell because I didn't uh, didn't have them uh, include them in the last one. These guys I found in that same bag with these guys. And uh, let's turn this around. What's this uh, side look like? Yeah, see, this is all all destroyed and this looks pretty good. And uh, the only thing that this van doesn't have is this piece right here. So I'm probably gonna swap those out. But how cool is that to find two of those in one week? All right, gang, we got one more stop on the agenda. We're gonna head on over to uh, Jaden's Toys. He's got a 30% off sale going here Christmas Eve. So I figured we'd pop in there and see if maybe we can find us some goodies. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see what Jaden's has here. Oh, the Cyclops. Hmm, I wonder if that's $14.99 or $29.99. Because if it's $14.99, it's another 30% off. I would definitely grab that. And what's this guy here? Babylon. There's another Babylon figure. Here's some, looks like Power of the Force, Star Wars. <clears throat> and what do we got here? Looks like Poison Ivy. in space. I've got that figure already. Oh, look at that dude. Is that like Spawn Octobrain? What's that from? Octobrain. I have no idea. It kind of looks like a McFarlane style toy. Kind of neat figures, nothing I'm interested in, but kind of cool. We got some Lord of the Rings. Hey, it's Gumby. I think I saw him here a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, lots of these Babylon 5 figures. Mega Charger. Oh, we got some G.I. Joe comic books for $4.99 and then 30% off that.
Robotech. Zarana and Zartan. All right, let's see if there's any more classifieds that I might want to pick up. So I can get them for $7 if I decide. I don't think I have this Cobra Commander. I've got one of him in a light blue suit and a light blue helmet. But I really don't need two of them. Yeah, we got some Migos over here. Poison Ivy's kind of cool. Look at this bat. I don't have that one. I've got one where he's like black, like this. But that's like all transparent. Oh, look at this Jeepers Creepers dude. Got some more Migos over here. And here's all the origins. There's another car over here. Look, look at this, Stormtroopers of Death. That's pretty awesome. That, and then we got this Max 89. Oh, it's a Robo Force. No kidding. You put some other, like, random stuff out this, like, last few days, so. Okay. Look at this guy still. Oh, his foot's all busted. That's, that's cool Godzilla, though. All right, so I picked up a few items at Jaden's. I got some of the WWF uh, Masters, Masters of the WWF, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. So I picked up those and I also got the Cyclops. Let's do some show and tell. <laughs> You'll know why I'm crying in a second. First up, I got the Dragon, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Rowdy Roddy Piper. And uh, the Pop Piper comes with this battle ax. The dragon over here comes with like this little baby dragon thingy, which is kind of cool. And uh, man, I think these are some great looking figures. And uh, you know, uh, I've got a few other of these. They're actually on card. I've got Macho Man Randy Savage and I've got the New Day. And then I also have, uh, the Undertaker. So the other figures I have are actually on card, but I'll probably be busting them out of their plastic prisons at some point now that I've opened up these. The cards that these guys came on were not in the best shape, so I was like, I might as well just open them. But how cool are these figures, man? I love the colors of the dragon here. Super awesome. I also picked up the Cyclops. Well, here he is in all his parts. Yes, I broke him. I broke him. I didn't realize his legs didn't really have articulation and he wasn't standing on his own. So I thought, oh, I'll just move his legs into position and uh, you know, try to make his feet, because his feet actually weren't like laying flat. They were kind of like, up like this so i was like trying to position it to get them flat and i snapped both legs so yeah i broke the toy i broke it however i was like you know i had him in here let me see if i can put him in here i put him in here like this and i thought he looked kind of cool you know i had him in there like this so i was thinking about maybe just like painting him there we go because it kind of looks like he's coming up out of the ooze you know what i mean so i was thinking about maybe painting him a different color or something like that i don't know you know making him you know i don't know i don't know you know trying to make him more like uh cartoonish like these guys sort of thing but chances are i won't do that 
I'll probably just end up leaving them just like this. But I thought that kind of looked neat on display, right? I mean, sometimes you gotta get creative, you know? When you're given lemons, you gotta make lemonade, right? Not that this was a lemon, you know, by any means. Like I said, this is not like, it's not like Jaden's fault or anything like that. It's just, I was stupid and was very rough trying to move these and snap the legs. So that's my fault, 100%. But I think he looks, I think he looks cool in there like that. What do you guys think? What do you think? Should I leave him on display here in the, uh, what's this called? The Snake Chaos Attack playset? Should I paint him a different color? If so, what color should I paint him? Or what colors? Anyway, these were some of the pickups I got from Jaden's. <sighs> C'est la vie, mon cher. Moshi bo hon chouan, moshi bo bo, parlez vous. I don't speak French. Can you tell? <laughs> so, but yeah, you know, he broke, man. He broke, and I busted him, and it sucks, and I'm disappointed that I broke him like that. But it's not the first time I've broken a toy. Good thing I got them 30% off and didn't pay full price for them. But hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.